Shall we lift up our hands to God this morning? Let's glorify him. Let's magnify him. Let's thank him for all of these amazing testimonies. He's the doer and he's worthy of our praise. Let's return to him all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. Magnify him. Thank him. Thank him some more. And thank him right now for answered prayers corporately, personally. God heard us. God has answered us. Let's thank him and bless his name. And this morning, ask the Lord to speak to you personally, to send you his word and meet you at the very point of your needs. Speak to him and ask him right now. Begin to give him praise for answered prayers. Father, this morning, we are grateful. We thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for these amazing testimonies. Lord, I accept our thanks in Jesus' name. We pray that this testimony shall be permanent. There shall be no reversal. Thank you for answered prayers today. And right now our hearts are open and our eyes look open to you. Send us your word this morning and change our story again. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say louder, amen. amen. Please, you may be seated. Put your hands together for the Lord. Again, welcome to 2021, your year of supernatural turnaround. So shall it be for us in Jesus' name. Praise God. All through this week in our covenant hour of prayer, our subject of consideration is captioned, soul winning is warfare. Can you say that with me, please? Luke 11, 21 and 22 is our text, and let's read it together. Luke 11, 21 and 22. The Bible here says, when a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace, 22. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor wherein he trusted and divided the spoil. May the Lord bless his word in our heart this morning in Jesus' name. This passage paints to us very, very clearly our subject for this week. It shows us the kind of warfare that takes place between the strong man and the one that is stronger than he. The devil is a strong man, but the one that's stronger than him is the Jesus Christ that lives in you and me. That's why the Bible tells us, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Say loud, amen. amen. So, so many is warfare. What is warfare? Among other things, warfare simply means a conflict, spiritual conflict. Say it means spiritual conflict. Say it again, spiritual conflict. And this morning, please, among other things, first, let's understand and appreciate the fact that it takes power to rescue souls from hell. It takes power to rescue souls from hell every soul that is unsaved that is not born again is in hell spiritually and soul winning is what rescues them from there but to rescue such souls power is required what is required what is required and power among other things simply means ability to act and produce an effect. Ability to act and produce an effect. Ability to act and do what? And produce an effect. That is power. So to rescue any soul from hell, you and I require power, which is the ability to act and produce effect. Praise the Lord. Luke chapter 10 and verse 1. Look at what the Bible says here. Luke chapter 10 and verse 1. After this, the Lord appointed other 70 also and sent them two by two before him into every city whither he himself would come. Look at verse 2. He said unto them, the harvest is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye. Do what? The emphasis on the word pray. Pray.
pray ye therefore, pray ye, pray ye that the Lord of the harvest will send laborers into the field. For these laborers to be effective in the field, power is required. What is required? And as we go through this season, especially of this current operation of who is on the Lord's side, I see God endearing you and I and every engaging winner afresh with power from on high. Say me, I receive it. Verses 17 to 19 of the same scripture. Luke 10, 17. The 70 returned, and what did they say? Even devils were subject to us in thy name because they were able to exercise the power given unto them they return triumphant they return with testimonies therefore for you and i as we engage in this current operation especially we all shall be returning with joy we all shall be returning with testimonies devils shall be subject to you in the name of jesus christ can I hear a louder amen? amen? Second, we must understand that praying in the Holy Ghost renders our enemies helpless. Doing what? Praying in the Holy Ghost renders our enemies helpless. June, Jude verse 20, excuse me. Jude verse 20. It says, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. So each time you pray in the Holy Ghost, you are building up your power base. What are you doing? You are building up your power base. What we are saying here this morning is that praying in the Holy Ghost renders our enemies helpless what does it mean to pray in the holy ghost it means to pray in tongues with your spirit engaged you pray in tongues with your spirit man engaged that way you are praying in the holy ghost and each time you do that you are rendering your enemies powerless that brings us again to the very important fact of the baptism in the Holy Ghost. To be an effective witness for Jesus, therefore, will require the help of the Holy Ghost and that's why it's very important for every believer to be baptized in the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. In case you are under the sound of my voice today and you are not baptized yet in the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues, he is the gift of God to you as a believer. And even right now, wherever you may be, as you lift up your voice and thanksgiving to the Almighty God and begin to give him praise, you will discover that he will send you the gift of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. And for those of us who are already baptized, it is one thing to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. It's another thing to engage that gift of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, you must remember every time you pray in the Holy Ghost, you pray in tongues. What are you doing? Among other things, you are building up your power base. You are building up your power base. You are building up your power base. Therefore, again, this morning, it's very important for us to remind ourselves, make sure that you engage in praying in the Holy Ghost on a regular basis, on a daily basis. And you will see the transformation in your life in a way that you never imagined. Praise God. This is one major thing that I observe in the life of God's servant. More often than not, you see him probably in the midst of a very important meeting. He's writing, he's thinking, he's talking, and suddenly he bursts out to praying in the Holy Ghost. Sometimes we are in a meeting, in church service, and then you see him writing, he's scribbling, he's putting scriptures together, and then suddenly he bursts out praying in the Holy Ghost. Many of us who sit around him in services, in church, in meetings, I'm sure you must have noticed that before. Even this morning, did any of you notice that this morning? That is building up your power base. 
we all must begin to engage in that consciously more than ever before the grace to be able to do so i see god release it unto us this morning more than ever before in the name of jesus christ thirdly we must receive grace to press the battle to the gate to press the battle to where to the gate until our converts are established in the faith press the battle to the gate until our converts are established in the faith none of your converts shall be lost to the enemy in the name of jesus christ i said none of your converts will be lost to the enemy in jesus name daniel 12 3 look at what the bible says here daniel chapter 12 and verse 3 they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness are the stars forever and for how long and that's talking about you i said that's talking about you your shining will be forever and ever when god lifts you up no devil can bring you down remember the testimonies we heard this morning both of them engage in kingdom advancement and divorce praying for souls engaging in spiritual warfare and conflict and as they did that god handed to them their desired testimony the first testifier said the marriage that was almost crushing came back alive whatever it might be in your life that looks like it's almost crushing shall revive again in jesus name this season is your season of testimony can i hear louder amen i said this season is your own season of testimony the same thing with the second testifier millions of naira of business of contract god will change your story in the same vein financial favor will begin to answer in someone's life in a strange dimension as you begin to engage in this season than ever before your hands will never lack again your story will change for the better so let's make sure we keep pressing the battle to the gate until our comfort are established you will not miss your reward in jesus name rise up on your feet this morning lift up your hands to the almighty god and in one moment build up your power base pray in the holy ghost do it aloud lift up your voice lift up your hands pray some more let heaven hear you right now your enemies must be rendered powerless let god hear you pray 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 some more pray in the spirit pray in the holy ghost make sure your spirit man is engaged don't just speak words alone engage your spirit and let heaven hear you lift up your hands to god as you do that Thank you, Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost, everyone. Stir up that grace upon your life. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. One very interesting thing about kingdom life is that everyone, not every group, not every team, is absolutely responsible for the outcome of his life. I can't borrow your breath. Otherwise, I won't find you again. You can't borrow my breath. Everyone shall live by his faith. Look to Abraham, your father, Sarah the Beardy, I called him alone. Praise God. So the Lord shall comfort Zion after the order of Abraham alone. Be very personal in your walk with God. 
Don't be lost in the crowd. Be very, very personal. And in the name of Jesus, you saw all those testimonies were results of personal commitment, dedication, engagement. Watch it any day, any time. Everybody's change of story is a product of his personal commitment, dedication, sacrifice. The Lord told me, you are absolutely responsible for the outcome of your life. October 4, 1981. 1979, I told our brethren, the time of brethren, let's go, is over. I'm gone. If you're interested, come follow. I can't wait for you to waste my life. I have only one. I have only one. I can't wait for you and miss my flight. I can't try to Kano from Lagos. In the name of Jesus, your personal engagement will bring your dramatic change about. Amen. God will hit each one here with amazing surprises this year. Amen. You won't just be part of the number. You'll be an asset to your father. Amen. God will take pride in you. Amen. And the effect will show on the earth. Amen. So be personal. Be, be extremely personal. Be personal in your work with God. I see speedy open rewards. Racing in the direction of many people here. Yeah. By the time this operation is over, many people will be a surprise to themselves. Yeah. Well, next Sunday is almost here. We have only tomorrow in between. Today and tomorrow, anything can happen. Anything can happen. As you choose to make it happen. Everything we call a miracle is a confirmation of the word that you put to work. And God was working with them confirming the word with signs following. Not their word, the word. They were running with the word and God was confirming it. So a miracle is not an accident. How much you engage with the word is what determines how much of the supernatural we command. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You have been hearing the testimonies of others. They must hear your own. Yeah. And now I'm saying that every blessing that accrued to those who serve God. Will start manifesting in your life from now. Yeah. No one here is permitted to die young. Yeah. Death shall not have a foothold in your home. Oppression shall no longer be identified with you. Yeah. You won't wake out of sleep sweating anymore. Yeah. They are part of your covenant package in serving God. I will take sickness from you. I will bless your bread and your water. I won't let you beg. I'm responsible to blessing you as you keep serving me. The grace to remain on duty for Jesus. In truth and in deed. To be steadfast in your engagement. To be tireless in your pursuit. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Again, stretch forth your hand. Holy Ghost, breathe upon these materials. The ones already circulated. The ones that are going to be circulated. And turn them to effective sequels of harvest. Breathe upon this. Turn them to effective sequels of harvest. And let them be instruments in drafting multitudes into your house this coming Sunday. To the glory and praise of your name. In Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Now, go in peace. The day is declared your day. It's your day of testimonies. Your day of turnaround. Your day of new beginnings. In the name of Jesus. Lift up those two hands. Give God thanks as you speak to the day. Give God thanks as you speak to the day. 
Give God thanks as you speak to the day. It's a concern free day.